Okay. Um, are building materials a source of uh, useful microorganisms for dairy cow and new milk? And uh, this study was supported by the project FLORAC. Uh, Marie-Christine Montel uh, talked about uh, its project uh, yesterday. And the aim of this project is to um, uh, develop a, a new support approach of dairy farmers um, to pilot microbial balances in favor of raw milk cheeses uh, quality. It's a national project uh, financed by Minister of Agriculture of France and uh, piloted by, uh, by the Chambre d'Agriculture uh, of the Cantal, an uh, agricultural development and council organism. And um, I, um, uh, to, to do this uh, new, new support approach for dairy farmers, we need to get uh, knowledge about sources of microorganisms. Um, because we know that uh, microbial diverse diversity is important for traditional cheese uh, because uh, it plays a major role in the test and typicality of raw milk cheeses. And the composition of milk microbiota depends on micro microbial sources directly in contact with the milk. In dairy farm, uh, teats, milking machine and environment uh, are sources of uh, microorganisms uh, which, um, which can uh, inoculate milk uh, during milking. And uh, litter, feed, water, and milker can be uh, other sources of microorganisms. So uh, the aim of this study was to evaluate microbial count of bedding material usual in dairy co on new farms uh, as reservoir of microorganisms for milk and studying relationships between microbial counts on bedding, teeth, and milks. Uh, so to do that, uh, we selection farms, uh, 36 cow farms were selected uh, according to the housing type, uh, tie stall or free stalls, and according to the bedding material, with or uh, without straw. Um, two periods of uh, sampling in winter when uh, cows are um, housed in full time and in summer when they are at pasture. For you, uh, we, uh, we have uh, selection 11 farms and um, according to um, bedding material, we throw or uh, stale floor. And, um, the study was carried out from January uh, 2011 uh, to July 2012 uh, in four French mountain areas producing PDO cheese, uh, Franche-Comté, Auvergne, Alpes, and Pyrenees. And we... Uh, we sampled. Uh, sampling was repeated uh, four to six times in each farm. Uh, bedding material was uh, sampled at morning minking. Uh, we, uh, we applied a sterile wipe on the bedding uh, material uh, to, um, to reproduce the contact uh, between um, teeth and bedding material when uh, co are sleeping. And um, for teeth surface, um, samples are, um, are made at, mil at morning mil milking before teeth cleaning by the milker uh, with, um, with sterile wipes. And tank uh, milk uh, um, was sampled after the morning minking. Uh, we make microbial analysis 
Um, sample were played on uh, five uh, media. Uh, we chosen this uh, media because we know uh, this uh, microbial group um, have an interest for cheese maker. So um, we count uh, total count ripening bacteria, gram negative bacteria, lactic acid bacteria, yeast, and molds. And uh, there, are, there are statistical analysis of the results. And um, at first, uh, for cow in uh, in winter, when uh, when cows are full time in uh, in a house, uh, we know total count on uh, on bedding material is around six log uh, by a per by a centimeter square of uh, bedding material, and. Um, in both our new farm, there is a dominance of writing bacteria and an higher microbial, microbial count on straw bedding than on the other bedding materials. Um, we compared two um, microbial counts on bedding material uh, in winter and uh, at pasture. Uh, we applied uh, sterile wipes on grass uh, where cows uh, are sleeping. And uh, we, we have um, um, different microbial cones at pasture and in the winter, and also uh, difference in microbial balance. Um, on grass, um, there is a dominance of right ripening bacteria, but less than in winter. And uh, we note uh, highest proportion of gram-negative bacteria, 22%, yeast, 9%, and molds, 7% uh, on grass. Uh, there is different microbial balance uh, between this do, these two material, uh, bedding material for coal. And uh, we, we make the same analyze uh, in the teat surfaces. Um, for co, um, total count on teat surface uh, uh, is uh, around six logs uh, per uh, surface of two teats. And uh, uh, as um, on bedding uh, surfaces, uh, there is a dominance of ripening bacteria. Uh, for coal, uh, higher microbial counts in winter than in summer on teats. And for you, uh, there is an higher ripening bacteria count with straw bedding that, uh, than with a slated floor. And we can see uh, the microbial balance on teats is not different uh, that on uh, bedding material. So we we have made analyze on uh, in milk, and um, for cow milk microbial count. Uh, total count is around uh, 3.5 log per milliliter. And um, the cow milk microbial balance is different uh, from, um, is different of uh, those of uh, bedding material and uh, teeth. Uh, in milk for cow, uh, uh, there is no difference in milk microbial counts, whatever the housing type or the bedding material. And for you, uh, we observe higher ripening bacteria and lactic acid bacteria counts in farm using straw uh, than those using slated straw. So we try to to make relationships between microbial count on bedding, teats, and uh, milk, 
at first for co. Um, we note uh, there is a lot of uh, microbial groups correlated uh, between uh, host and tits. Um, more they are microbial groups on bedding surface, more they are um, in, in the tits. And uh, um, we think it's because um, uh, other tits uh, are in contact with bedding material uh, uh, when uh, cows are sleeping. But um, it's, not, um, it's not the case. Uh, with milk, only uh, ripening bacteria are correlated uh, between teats and milk. And uh, for you, uh, it's um, there is a, a few microbial groups uh, correlated uh, between host and uh, teats. Uh, only ripening bacteria and lactic acid bacteria are correlated. And on teats and milk, only ripening uh, bacteria uh, were correlated. Um, to conclude, uh, we can say bedding material may be a source of ripening bacteria, potential, potentially useful in cheese making. Uh, in both uh, co and new farms, straw uh, mic microbial cones were higher than those of mat or slated floor. Uh, from bedding to teat, cones of few microbial groups were correlated, but not between teats uh, surfaces and milk uh, cones. And uh, uh, we, thought, we think uh, to advise dairy farmers, uh, the composition of the microbial community, and in particular ripening bacteria and Staphylococcus, uh, could be more uh, um, study. And uh, microorganisms flow from bedding to teat and teat to milk. Uh, in particular, the role of the milking machine uh, must be better understood to, to advise uh, farmers. Thank you for your attention. Thanks.